spine fracture is a break or injury that is most common in children between the ages 8 to 14. A flexion contracture is a bend that is flexed joint that cannot be straightened actively or passively. Surgery for displaced tibial spine fractures consists of sutures or screw fixation to reduce the fragment in addition to restoring tension of the anterior cruciate ligament. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to discuss about tibial spine fractures. Young patients who undergo surgery for displaced tibial spine fractures and also who had both an extension and flexion contracture had 2.2 times the odds of having a complication compared to patients who did not have any contractures according to research presented at the American Orthopedic Society for Sports Medicine's 2022 annual meeting. To investigate this further, researchers determined if residual displacement of the anterior portion of a tibial spine fragment affects the range of motion or laxity in post-operative and non-operatively treated tibial spine patients and to assess if anterior lip displacement or ALD predicts complications in these patients. A total of 578 patients treated for tibial spine fractures from an institutional review board-approved multi-center retrospective cohort of patients treated for tibial spine fractures between January 1, 2000 and January 31, 2019 at 10 institutions. The researchers examined range of motion and anterior lip displacement measurements and compared these from pre-treatment to the patient's final visit. Anterior lip displacement measures were categorized into four groups 0 to 1 mm excellent, 1 to 3 mm good, 3 to 5 mm fair and greater than 5 mm poor. Of the 578 patients reviewed, 82% that is 474 out of 578 had an operative treatment while only 18% of patients that is 104 out of 578 had a non-operative treatment. There was a higher proportion of patients who had a positive Latchman test in the non-operative group that is 12% compared to the operative group that is 4%. The surgical group had a median time of 3.4 months from surgery to final displacement measurement while the non-operative group had had a median time of 2.6 months from initial treatment to final displacement measurement. Operative patients who had both an extension and flexion contracture had 2.2 times the odds of having a complication compared to patients who did not have any contractures. This was independent of the final ALD, the researchers concluded. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.